Hi, this is Professor Rafael Teixeira, and I'm going to show in this video how to perform the multiple comparison procedure using the least square uh, difference procedure. Okay, so I'm going to use our slides and the chemical tech experiment that I we run the analysis of variance in the other video. So I'm going to use this example and go ahead and compare pairs of means okay just to remind you this is the result this is the data that we have these are three methods of assembly a filtration system and we want to know if they defer the mean this is the amount of units produced through using each method and i want to know if the means of uh, amount of units produced in each method defer do the, the means defer this is the question and in the other video, I showed you the ANOVA using Excel video. I showed you uh, this is the results. And we conclude that the, the there are differences in the means for the three methods, but we don't know which methods differ. So the next step is to do the multiple comparison in which I have to compare method A and B, method A and C, and method B and C. I have to perform pairs of comparisons among all groups okay if i have more groups i have to perform more comparisons with the other groups too okay so this is what i'm going to do now to show you how to uh, run this procedure using excel so here's my step-by-step -step process that i propose to you so uh, first develop the null and alternative hypothesis for the pairs of means so i would start here with null hypothesis is that Let's say mean of method A is equal to the mean of method B. I'm comparing method A and B now. I could compare any, start with any pair. And the alternative is that the mean of method A is not equal. Let's say we could use this not equal to the mean of method B. Okay. So this is the first step. Second step is take a note about the alpha level. So let's say the alpha level is 0 0.05. You have to read in the problem. Sometimes the alpha level is different, so pay attention to the problem. Compute degrees of freedom two, which is the sample size minus K. So degrees of freedom two is already computed here. So this is the degrees of freedom two. I can simply type 12. And now I can use these two pieces of information to come up with the T alpha level divided by two. Just to remind you, what I'm, I'm doing is I'm trying to come up with the least square difference, which is a reference number that I want to compare the difference from the two means. I'm, I'm going to compare the difference between the two means against this least square difference. This is the least square difference that I'm going to accept to consider this as a significant difference, okay? So I'm doing this, I'm computing the least square difference. So this is the formula, and this is what I'm, going, I'm doing. I'm implementing this formula in Excel. So I'm just right here, I'm computing the T alpha level divided by two, which is this part of the formula. So going back, T alpha divided by two is equal to T inverse two T, which is two tail, because the hypothesis is equal or not equal. The probability is the alpha level. And then I type comma and select degrees of freedom two. So this is my T alpha level divided by two. Okay, so I'm done with this part of the formula. Now I'm gonna solve this part of the formula. Okay, so compute the mean square, which is this, or simply copy from the ANOVA computation. So mean square error, is computed is this one this is the mean square error just to remind you the between groups is the treatment treatment and the within group variation is the error remember we talked about that in class so the mean square error is this number so what I'm going to do is type equal and then select this number okay so going back to the formula, I have the MSC. Now I have to compute one divided by sample size of group one plus one divided by sample size of, of group two. So one divided by sample size for group A, let's say, 
is equal. How much is the sample size? Is here. Sample size is given here. Okay. So sample size of group A is five. So it's equal one divided by five. This is what the formula is telling me. Now one divided by sample size for group group or method B. How much is B? B is five again. So what I do is equal one divided by five. Now I'm gonna sum the one divided by n, which is equal to this plus this. So I sum them. Okay, so I, I'm done with this part of the formula. Now I'm gonna multiply with the MSE. So multiplication, multiplication. Okay, and then the multiplication, like the formula is saying, is the sum of one divided by n multiplied by the mean square error. Okay, now I have the multiplication, which is within this square root here, okay? I did this multiplication, I have now I have to take the square root. This is what I'm going to do. Uh, taking, take square root is equal S key RT, open parenthesis, and then select the multiplication, close parenthesis, you took the square root. Now that I took the square root, now I have to multiply by the T alpha level divided by two, and then I get the LSD. So the least square difference is going to be equal to the square root I took multiplied by t alpha level divided by 2. This is my least square difference. This is the number that I'm going to use as a reference to compare the difference between groups. Now I can move to the seventh step, which is comp compute the absolute difference for the two mean. Now, um, mean of A, mean of B. So mean of A is here, average. Okay, mean of A is 62, mean of B equal is 66, okay? So, difference, the difference is equal to one minus the other, and then the absolute difference is simply the negative number in a positive form, okay? So this is the absolute difference. So this is the absolute difference between the means. Now, last step, compare the absolute difference with the least square difference. If the, uh, the absolute difference is higher than the least square difference, then reject the null. <clears throat> so, my, my conclusion is 4 is not higher than least square difference is not higher. So if it's not higher, I cannot reject the law. So because four is not higher than seven, I fail to reject the law and conclude the means are equal. Okay. Now I can move on. I did the first one. This is first group comparison. Now I can move to the second group comparison. The second group comparison, the null and alternative hypothesis are going to be very similar, but I'm going to change the, I'm going to compare now method A and method B. I could compare method B and method C, doesn't matter as long as I compare all three methods. Okay, I'm gonna compare these two methods. Well, the alpha level are going to be the same because it's the same problem. The degrees of freedom is the same because it's the same problem. The alpha level is the same. T alpha level divided by two is the same. The mean square error is the same, okay? Because it's the same problem. So I could compute everything or I don't even need to compute. The sample sizes, this is the part that they could be different. If they are different, then you have to compute another least square difference. In this case, they're all equal. So this result is going to be the same as before. So everything related to the least square difference is equal to the previous, I mean, I'm doing this comparison now, method A and C. But everything from comparison of method A and C up to this point is equal 
to what I did to method A and B. So I know that the least square difference is the same. I know that the least square difference is going to be this because nothing of no none of this information change it from comparing group A and B to compare, comparing group A and C. If the sample sizes for groups A and C would be different, then you would have to compute this again, okay? This would be the only thing that would change if the sample sizes are different, which in this case they are not. So I, I know the least square difference, I can move on to the mean of A and mean of mean of A and mean of C. So mean of A is 62, mean of C is here, is 52. Okay. Then I can compare. Let me give some like space for my for myself here. So I'm giving some like space. So the difference is equal one minus the other. The absolute difference is ten. Now I compare. I compare uh, the ten with the least square difference. If 10 is higher than least square difference, then I reject the null. So I reject the null. So because 10 is higher than uh, 7, I reject the null, I reject the null, and conclude the means are different. Okay? And then you should do that, you have to do that with the third group comparison. Okay, so I just begin this third group comparison, but I'm not going to do it because it's the same thing. So third group comparison, what is missing is comparing groups B and C. So this would be, um, the hypothesis would be this, mean of method B is equal to, the method, equal to the mean of method C and so on. Okay, everything would be similar, so would have the same, yeah, let's say I, I do everything, so I do alpha, like I did here, I do the degrees of freedom here, like I did here, I did T alpha, like I did here, it's all the same, so I don't need to do it. The mean square error is the same, so I don't need to do it here. The sample sizes are the same, so I don't need to do it here. If sample sizes were different between methods B and C, I would have to do it again, okay? But I don't need because sample sizes are the same. So everything is the same, the least square difference is the same, okay? This is the reason I'm not computing everything, it's already done. All I have to do is come here and do mean of method B, mean of method C, which is mean of method B is 66, method B is 52, the difference is one minus the other, the absolute difference is the positive version of the number, which is okay. And again, because I have to compare again, I have to compare the absolute difference with the least square difference. If this number is higher than this number, I reject the null. So I reject the null and conclude that means B and C are different again, okay? So this is how I, I perform multiple comparison using Excel.